What's up boys, so busy that blessed day so far, Jesus loves you, and in today's video we're going over how to get out of Platinum in the game of Rainbow Six Siege. Platinum is by far one of the largest ranks in Siege, spanning from 3200 to 4100 MMR. That is 900 total MMR points, with 3 separate sub ranks in Platinum 3, Platinum 2, and Platinum 1. A lot of times when we first get out of gold and into platinum, it's a really good achievement, but that next task and that next achievement in diamond is 900 LMR away, and it's really daunting and treacherous for especially new players when they first get into plat to be able to have the courage and confidence to be able to go after that diamond rank because the competition gets better and better as you move up, and it's just such a massive rank to be able to go through. Now, I am by no means a godly or a spoil. I'm not even close to any of those, but I have hit diamond twice, once playing in a group and once playing by myself, and in today's video, I'm going to give you guys the best tips that you have got to have if you want to end up hitting diamond and champion let's go right into it start with the first tip we have five stack this is the easiest tip i'm going to give you throughout the whole video a good five stack not just your friends not just some people you find not just a few toxic kids not just a few gunners you got to find a good coordinated role focus stack now you may not know what role focus means what that means is basically you have a stack of people who are all designated on certain roles you have the hard reach player you have the support player you have the flank watch player you have the fragger you have the anchor everybody has their own designated role and their own specific purpose on each site in each map that you play that level of coordination and communication plus call outs and all of those aspects will lead to a very good five stack that you can just cruise through platinum like butter with. Now, the important thing to remember with five stacks is that you can't just throw one together. As I mentioned, when you throw together a five stack, whether it's just your friends or just some gunners or toxic kids, you're never going to have a good level of chemistry. You have to make sure you guys are all calling out together. You're all focusing on specific roles and that you guys blend well as a team because if there's no blend and there's no chemistry, you won't have any success and playing in a five stack will be completely useless. Moving on to the next step, we have introspection. This is a big word, let me define it for you. The examination or observation of one's own mental and emotional processes. This word basically means in my terms of this video that you need to be able to look at yourself more than you look at your teammates. The biggest issue when people start to get up in the plat and like even diamond is that they blame everybody else because they're super prideful about how good they think they are they think they're better than everybody else, even if they are playing better than the other people. You can't think like that. When you get prideful and you think of yourself better than somebody else, that blinds you to certain things that you could be improving while you're playing. A lot of times, people are just like, oh, I'm the best one in the lobby. Obviously, my teammates, look at them. They're all, they're all dropping one kill. I have six kills and we're losing. It doesn't matter how many kills you have if you are losing. And even if you are losing and you've done everything perfectly, you have to look at each and every round and each and every game at an objective-based look. You can't look at it based on kills. You can't look at it based on your performance. You have to look at every single game, every single death, every single mistake you make and be able to somehow improve it and learn from it. You can't sit there and worry about everything, but you also can't sit there and just whine about everything. That gets you nowhere, and it will never make you a good player in this game. You have got to be able to stop complaining about stuff, stop whining, introspect upon your own self, how you felt, what you did wrong, and then the next time around, you have to improve that. That is how you consistently build a foundation to be a good player and get into these higher ranks. Moving on to the next tip, I already touched on this a little bit, but it's know your roles. So I talked about in the five seconds important, everybody is extremely designated on that one role, right? Well, as a player, if you want to get into these higher ranks, you have to know a basic understanding of every role in the game. Now, there are different roles for different sides, and let me explain. So for the attack, there's hard breach, support, flex, and frag. That's the main thing. So the hard breach and the support usually push together and get the wall and try and get the bomb on site, while the flank watch and the frag are usually the ones who entry in and clear people out. You have to have a basic understanding of all of these roles to be able to fill in when somebody doesn't grab one. Because if someone doesn't grab a hard breacher, you have to be able to flex onto that operator to be able to help your team. Same thing applies on defense. On defense, you have the anchor, you have the roamer, and you have possibly, I mean, I guess you could say the utility, like the Jaeger or the Mai. But knowing at a basic level, not a super advanced level, but a basic level how each of these roles work will allow you to flex much easier onto these roles. Moving on to the next tip, we have mastering one rule. So it's... It's important not to be a jack of all trades, as I said, a basic level of all roles, right? But you got to have that one role that you are super, super good on. When you watch Pro League, you don't see Bolo playing Thermite. That's not what he does. He's a fragger, right? He's always on those good operators that have good guns. He's always on an operator that doesn't have a whole lot of utility because he's focused on trying to get those entry frags, right? And then you have operators like, or teammates like 
Kojo man, they're always on Thermite and they're always on the support players because they're that's their designated role. You have to know your designated role that you are extremely talented at. When you know your role, continue to improve upon it, learn new things, and get better. When you specialize in this area, you'll be able to provide not only more to your team, but more to the five stack you play in. Like if you play in a five stack, you tell them, hey guys, I'm a hard breach and a support player on defense. I can anchor and I'm really good at thermite. They're like, okay, so then they can play operators that aren't those people and be able to focus their skills and their utilities somewhere else. Moving on to the next tip, we have mechanics. If you have any wish of hitting diamond at all, you have got to have some good mechanics. Now, specifically on console, this is what the best mechanics consist of. Tracking, flicks, recoil control, movement, peaks, and warming up. That is the main things you should be focusing on. Warming up is kind of the outlier there because warming up, you should be practicing all five of those things. But the most important thing is that you have consistent mechanics. If you're inconsistent, you can't always hit your shots. You can't. You can't always win your ones. You have to be able to work on that and get better. One of the biggest things, especially on console, is tracking. If you can't track properly, you're never going to be a good player. And if you don't know what tracking is, tracking is when you keep your reticle on an object, most likely a player, and you keep it on that object as it's moving left or right or as you are moving to the left or to the right. It basically works your horizontal sensitivity, and you have to keep very accurate to be able to hit your shots more and more and more. When you can't be accurate, you can't be consistent, and you're not always hitting your shots when you need to, how are you going to clutch a 1v1? How are you going to clutch a 1v3? How are you going to get that last guy you need to? You're not going to be able to do that. So there's no point of even doing any of these other tips if you haven't gotten your mechanics down. Your mechanics are the foundation you must build upon with this game. Work on your mechanics first, make sure they're at at least a decent level, then take the rest of these tips in this video and apply them, and that will make you a better player. Moving on to the next step, we have calling out. Even when I solo queued a diamond, even when I solo queued, I still will call out. I would always call out, help my teammates, and just give the best call outs I possibly can. That one call out that you give that you think nobody's listening to could end up saving someone's life and with you guys around. In five stacks, call outs should be happening every five seconds. If someone dies in a five stack, they should be on camps, on a drone, on somebody's screen helping them. You guys should be calling out 24-7, not getting on your phones on TikTok, not texting people, talking trash, not complaining, not whining. No, calling out. Stop whining that you died, get on a camera, and call out for your teammates. That will help you guys win a lot more. Moving on to the next tip, we have patience. This is something I, God, I wish I knew when I was first going for Diamond. You have got to be patient. You're going to lose games. You're going to have a season or two where it's just bad. You may have a couple seasons in a row couple games in a row, a couple even rounds in a row that are just bad. And that's okay. It's going to happen sometimes. You just have to be patient with yourself. Give yourself time. Be patient and be calm and be positive. See everything from a positive light. Look at everything in a positive manner and give yourself some time and you will finally hit this rank. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any other video you're going to see in the future. Anyways, God bless you all. I love you all. Peace out.